Hey everyone, hope you're all having a great Halloween season. In this video, I'm giving you all 10 last minute horror slash spooky Halloween watches. And we won't be talking the big names like the Halloween franchise or Trick or Treat. While those are awesome, I'm hoping to provide some lesser discussed Halloween watches. So let's get into it. First up is gonna be The Guest. This movie stars Micah Monroe and Dan Stevens, so you really can't go wrong here. There's a small role from Ethan Embry as well, which is like a nice little bonus. But this is about a family whose son has recently died in the service, and his friend shows up one day, and things just get kind of crazy. There's quite a bit of action. It's more of an action horror, but it is a super fun time. Micah Monroe is fantastic in this. She is serving some serious looks. Uh, Dan Stevens is incredible as always, but this movie is a ton of fun. It's quick paced. It's one of those movies that's also just really fun to look at, especially towards the end. There's a really colorful sequence and it takes place at Halloween time. Right now it is available to stream on Showtime or rent on Amazon. Okay, moving on to number two, Lady in White. This is an oldie but a goodie. It is from 1988, but it's set in the 60s. It stars Lucas Haas as a little boy who is accidentally locked in the coat closet at school overnight on Halloween night. Uh, the aesthetic of this movie is amazing. It has a really dreamy quality to it. There's a nice mystery happening here. There's some really tense moments and really the visuals in this movie are top notch for their time, especially. If you haven't seen Lady in White, I think you are definitely missing out. And it is currently available on Tubi, which means it's free. Okay, number three, we are pushing a little because it's not specific to Halloween, but it definitely has the fall vibes down. And that is Ouija, Origin of Evil. This stars Elizabeth Reeser, Lulu Wilson, and Annalise Basso as a family dealing with the recent loss of their respective husband and father. And they get a little more than they bargain for from the Ouija board experience. We also have Henry Thomas here, another Flanagan favorite. He plays a priest. And I just love the look of this movie. I love that it's rated PG-13. I think there should be more PG-13 horrors. This is a great intro horror for some younger viewers. And it is currently streaming on Netflix. Okay, next up is an anthology film. And it's not the one you're thinking of. It's The Mortuary Collection from 2020. This is a really fun movie set at Halloween time. It stars Caitlin Custer, Clancy Brown, and there's a segment starring Jacob Elordi. And the stories themselves are very creative. You often see people complaining about unoriginality in horror. This movie has plenty of that. There's also a couple nice twists in this movie, which I always appreciate. And the Mortuary Collection is available on Shudder. It makes a great fall watch. Okay, now for some nostalgia. This is definitely not horror, but it has the spooky vibes down. And that is the Garfield Halloween Adventure, a.k.a. Garfield in Disguise, apparently. Garfield and Odie are going out trick-or-treating and basically hijinks ensue and they end up at a haunted house. This one is great for the old school cartoon aesthetic vibes. I love the ghostly look of this special. I really love the relationship between Garfield and Odie. I know Garfield can be kind of a jerk sometimes, but when it comes down to it, he loves Odie and Odie is just as loyal as can be. I swear he acts more like a golden retriever than a dachshund. <laughs> So if you want something to give you that nostalgic Halloween quality, Garfield Halloween Adventure is perfect. And it is uh, available on YouTube if you just search it up. Next up is 2007's Murder Party, which revolves around a guy played by Chris Sharp who receives a mysterious invitation to a party on Halloween night and decides to check it out. 
This is a crazy movie. There's a ton of great kills in this and a lot of gore, but it's all done in really unique, kind of cool ways. This is a Jeremy Saulnier film, making Blair's also in it. I pretty much enjoy everything they do together, and so if you're into some of their other works, like Green Room or Blue Ruin, you should definitely check this one out. And if you search this, it is streaming on like a million different places right now. All right, now for a fun one and a true classic, if you ask me, Casper from 1995. Casper is such a throwback. If you haven't seen it in a while, it has aged like wine. Only better with time. We have the queen herself, Christina Ricci, in peak form here, playing a young girl whose father, played by Bill Pullman, moves them into an old abandoned house, but basically it's like a freaking castle. And it's haunted by Casper, the friendliest ghost, and his not-so-friendly uncles. This takes place at Halloween time. The ambiance is amazing on this one. There's a ton of fun cameos in this movie. And of course, the one and only Devin Sawa gives an iconic performance in the one scene he's in, which I won't spoil in case you haven't seen it. But I mean, I think everybody's seen Casper. I hope you have. Uh, I must have watched this like a hundred times in my youth and I revisit it often. It is a classic. And Casper is currently streaming on Hulu, if you have that as a subscription. Next up is a new film from 2023, Dark Harvest. You probably heard some buzz about this one as of late. It centers around a legend in this small town called Sawtooth Jack, who is on the loose every Halloween, and it's up to the young men in this town to banish him year after year. This was a great surprise for me this year. I didn't hear anybody talking about this pretty much until it dropped a few weeks ago. It has a really fun feel to it. There's great performances here. There's a small role from Jeremy Davies in this, if you like him. The visuals are great. And I love how the legend of Sawtooth Jack actually comes about every year. It's a really cool idea. This is definitely bound to become a Halloween classic, I think. And you can rent this one on several services right now. Okay, uh, back to another horror classic, Ginger Snaps. Here we follow two sisters, played by Emily Perkins and Scream Queen herself, Catherine Isabel, with a side role here from Scream Prince, Chris Lemke. This is a werewolf movie set around Halloween time. And if you have not seen this movie, you are missing out on a lot. The opening credit sequence is iconic in this, uh, in my opinion. Kind of reminds me even a little bit of uh, The Virgin Suicides. Uh, the relationship between the sisters is really genuine. I love it. And I like the w look of the werewolf in this as well. I will say... Trigger warning for dog stuff, though. They, they don't show anything, and it's kind of played in, like, a campy way. But there's quite a bit of dog violence in this movie. Um, nevertheless, it is a classic, and it is available on Prime, among other places as well. And last but not least, I'm going to cheat a little here and give you a two-for-one. A double feature fit for Halloween glory. These two go together like cheese and crackers, or at, like Reese's and Kit Kats, if you will. Uh, I'm talking about two recent movies. This year's wonderful, amazing, incredible Cobweb, and 2021's wonderful, amazing, incredible The Black Phone. In each of these movies, we follow a young boy as the main character. They have similar aesthetics. Really great performances in both movies. We're dealing with maybe some supernatural situations. And the vibes are just on point. So in The Black Phone, we are with Finn, played by Mason Thames. And his sister Gwen, played by Madeline McGraw, who really has quite a standout performance. She's amazing. Uh, Ethan Hawke plays the bad guy in this. He's quite creepy. Uh, well, it's not set specifically at Halloween. It does have all the fall vibes. This one was one of my favorites for 2021 and I just think it pairs 
perfectly with this year's Cobweb. Cobweb follows another young boy, played by Woody Norman, who thinks his parents may be hiding a dark secret when he begins hearing sounds behind the walls. Now, this movie is awesome. It takes place at Halloween, and the family actually has their entire yard is like a pumpkin patch, so it's just perfect. This one also has kind of a dreamy quality to it. And of course, Lizzie Kaplan is amazing. She's great as the mother here. There are quite a couple twists in this. Um, and the gore definitely ramps up in the last, uh, like third for sure. I had a blast with this one and it is for sure on my favorites of the year. This one just dropped on Hulu. So it's free now if you have that service. So there you have it, my list of last minute recommendations for Halloween watches. Hopefully you found some things on this list that you might want to give a try, maybe a revisit. Let me know in the comments what your favorite not so popular Halloween movies are. I'd love to hear them. Thanks for joining me in this one and I will see you all next time. Bye!